Have you ever had a dragon but not known how to take care of it? Well, today is your lucky day. I am going to be showing you how to pamper your dragon. You will need a dragon, dragon food, a toothbrush, a sink, and accessories for your dragon. First, you will need your dragon. Then, the second step is to give him a bath. And to do that, you have to wash out the sink and make sure the temperature is hot enough for the dragon to be in the water. Then, you have to place him in and making sure the water is the correct temperature, you fill the water up until it reaches about like around his neckline. So then the water is not too full and it's also not too shallow. Then you need your toothbrush. Then without any soap, don't use any soap, just stroke the scales on the dragon's back and his tail and anywhere that he has dirt and remove all of the gunk. But be sure not to use any soap because it could seep through his scales and go into his bloodstream and that would be really, really bad. <laughs> then you drain the water and wait for it to drain. Once it's drained, you run the water again and rinse everything that could have possibly not washed off him. And he's dancing right now, so that'll just wash right off. Then next you need a towel. Then you have to pick up your dragon and you dry him off completely. Very carefully though. My dragon hates getting baths, so he's really upset right now. <laughs> he's like about to attack. Gotta dry every part of his body, including his head, his feet, back, and tails. Then you just put him back in his geranium once he's all dry. Next, you need dragon food. Some of the dragon food is kale. And to cut the kale up, you got to remove the stems because the dragon can't digest that. And then you cut the kale up and chop it as firmly as you possibly can because it would be really hard on the dragon's digestion if the pieces were too big. Next, you need reptile calcium. And you got to sprinkle that all over because calcium is reptile's main food source. Then you got to mix the calcium in through the kale and you put it in their little food dish. Then you put the kale in their cage. Next step is to accessorize your dragon. My dragon likes sushi and he likes to listen to music. And he also really likes to play the guitar. So, <laughs> yeah. It is important to take care of your dragon and give him proper care, otherwise he will become stressed and aggressive. And if he becomes stressed and aggressive, that means he's not happy. Taking care of an animal is a very important life skill that teaches responsibility. Responsibility is extremely important to have. Also, taking care of an animal is important because it could teach you to treat yourself better and take care of yourself. 